I never thought I'd be chosen as one of the representatives. I'm not a very good speaker, so really, Rina or Xion should have been picked instead of me. But I just couldn't refuse when they told me that Satko's best friend should be the one to go. They told us to sit on the couch inside the visitor's room. The counselor, the manager, and the head of the office were there. The way they treated us was improving every time we went, came. I didn't know if today's appeal would change anything, but I was starting to feel the direction of fate shift little by little. It's been a while since I last seen Hanyu, so I kind of forgot she was in this game. Hanyu appeared beside me. It had been a while since she showed up. Hanyu was assuming that we still wouldn't be able to save Satko in this world either. She always felt it was best to just watch what happened, without hoping for a positive change. I'd been hurt so many times after being betrayed while hoping for a change. Surely that wasn't good for my soul. I've been beaten down over and over again. It's better to be quiet and do nothing. It's better not to expect change. That way, if something bad happens, I won't feel pain. My fate was already a dead end. But was that really true? I did my best in many of my previous lives. However, I had always acted alone. A miracle only happens when everyone combines their efforts. I was starting to feel the death of what that meant. But even so, that didn't guarantee that we could save Satko. This was the best chance I'd had so far, certainly, but that still didn't prove anything. I couldn't call it a miracle just yet. A miracle is something far more dramatic. So, this wasn't a miracle. It wasn't a miracle just yet. There was still someone else who needed to reach out for this to become a miracle. Everyone has been working so hard. They truly believe they can bring about a miracle. Who amongst them doesn't believe? Isn't there someone who's not reaching out her hand, like everyone else is doing? そもそも、さっきから圭一や入江が向こうとやり合っている最大の争点は、サトコが虐待を認めたかどうか。そうなのですが。それは簡単ではないのです。佐渡子を救おうと、みんなが手を伸ばしているのに、佐渡子がその手を掴もうとせず、沼にどんどん沈んでいく。そうやって考えると、一番訴えるべきは佐渡子じゃないかって思う。
Sadako is like family to me as well. No. My feeling, feelings toward her are even deeper than that. It might only be one year for Sadako, but I've spent decades with her. そして<笑> I had just been a been observing them like a spectator. I've been tired of this eternally repeating world and acted like a witch. I had forgotten the powerful feelings needed to change fate. In other words, it was like I was supposed to be an actress, but was just sitting back and eating popcorn. I'm not a spectator. I'm one of the people on the stage. And that's why this play was never successful. In the world where Rena took over the school, if I hadn't done anything, Keishi would have died in an explosion. Because I got on the stage like I was like I was supposed to, the play didn't end that way. I'm part of this world too. It's such an obvious thing, but I must have forgotten it a long time ago. <laughs> さとこ あなたは何度もそのような決意をして、それを打ち砕かれて悲しんできましたです。それでもなお、なのですか分かってる。二度とない幸運と、二度とない結束。私が次の世界でも頑張ろうと、安っぽい決意をしたところで。私の努力とは無関係なところで袋工事は決まるだろう。この世界よりももっともっとあっさりとどうしようもない形で。だから、この世界でもダメだったら、私は諦めようと思う。Hanyu looked at me with surprise. For us, the term giving up means a lot more than what it sounds like. It doesn't only mean that I will accept my fate, it means that I will accept the dead end waiting for me, in other words, accept my death. <laughs> なんて私、
その追い風の中で、私は多分、できる最大限の方を張ったと思う。だから、今度こそって思うし、逆に、これでダメなら、もう絶対にダメだと思う。その時は私、本当の本当に、諦めがつくと思うから。I am the only person who can communicate with Hanyu. If I disappear, she will have to go on with her life all alone. That's the last thing Hanyu wants to happen. Perhaps that's why Hanyu says the things she does. She doesn't want my lifespan to wither away by getting hurt emotionally. Demo, but I am not a mother. この舞台の出演者だった。あなたに舞台を見るという楽しみ方を教えてはもらったけど、出番を降りたら舞台が成立しない。きっと、だから私は袋小路を出られないんじゃないかなって思うの。ティカ、きっとどこかの世界で、今回と同じような幸運に恵まれ、しかもおじの帰ってこない世界がありますです。それは奇跡ではなく、今回よりももう一つ余計に毒が出るだけのことなのです。今回と同じような追い風で、おじも帰ってこない世界か。そうね。そうだったら。どんなに素晴らしいことか。Still, trying to beat my fated death is another issue entirely. That sounds wonderful, but it's still not guaranteed. その世界まで頑張って僕と待ちましょうなのです。だから、この世界が終わったら、諦めるなんて言わないでほしいのです。私が死んだら、あんたが、あうあう言っても聞いてくれる人もいなくなるしね。たまに気配か足音を、誰かに気のせい程度に感じさせるのがせいぜいだろうし。Well, hold on. What about Mr. My Barra? He was able to see Hany for some reason. <laughs> Okay, this is just a random sidetrack that I'm saying right now, but I'm still wondering to this very day, how in the fuck did Mr. m a i b a r a see Hanyu?、Uh, wait, was that covered? I don't think that was covered at all in the previous game, so I might have accidentally said a spoiler here, but you know what? Fuck it. How the fuck did Mr. m a i b a r a see Hanyu? I still don't understand how he was able to see her. So maybe Hanyu has a chance with Mr. Maibara, though Mr. Maibara probably <laughs> great Himizawa disaster most of the time, so. Yeah, Hanyu might be fucked.、Uh, oh, wait. Okay, I said a word that was a spoiler, so I had to bleep a part of what I said, but the gist of it is he dies in the great Himizawa disaster. <laughs> so Hanyu might not have any, anyone if the great Himizawa disaster occurs in this timeline. <laughs> But still, how the fuck did Keiji's dad see her? I still don't understand that! How did he see her? Ahhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhh
、その先の時間へ行きたいです。でもそれは、リカと一緒でなくてはダメなのです。I'm sure that's similar to my own claim that there's no point in living past June 1983 if I'm the only one who does. My ideal future is to survive. My ideal future is to survive past June 1983 and let the happy times continue like always without anyone missing. Hanyu feels the same way. She doesn't want a world where I'm not by her side. We are repeating this world only because we wish to do so. It wasn't just Hanyu's power, it was the one that we shared together. Hanyu wants to be with me, just like I want to build myself a happy future. We both want the same thing, but If I refused to repeat the world again, my long life would be over. Yet, I never refused, no matter how sick and tired of it I was. For over 100 years, I kept believing that something good would happen eventually. However, our power is weakening, and we can only go back a few weeks at most. We have so little time left to try and change our fate. If we kept it up, eventually, we'd only be able to go back to the morning of the day I was going to die. That'd be a dead end for sure. I don't think a life this fortunate will ever come my way again. If my time was unlimited, I'm sure that will eventually happen. But I can't count on it happening in time and there. But I can't count on it happening in what time I do have left. Hanyu told me to wait for another chance because she doesn't want to see me lose myself. But she isn't feeling the same time. My fuck! Fuck! She isn't feeling the same time limit like I am. The way Rico works things sometimes is a little bit hard, I'm sorry. She in demo mega summite mo na ji asa nante. Kangai takumo na yakumo yo ne. So na ji goku ni ochiru mai ni. Jibun no sekai wa. Jibun no te de maku o oroshitai no. Dakara. So re o kono sekai ni kimeta wa. Kono sekai de dame datara. Watashi wa. これで繰り返しをやめることにする。Let me translate what she's trying to say. This world is no different from any other world. You're not going to win, so don't bet on this life. Your lifespan is not as short as you think. You should wait for your next opportunity in this endless June. Stay with me until then. Stay with me and wait for the next chance. Tena tokoro de shou. Ow. Is that a yes or now ow? Nara seisei, watashi tachi no tame ni inotte choudai. Soudan jo toki fusei. サトコを救い出せることそして私が昭和58年6月の運命に打ち勝てること昭和58年の夏を迎えられたら随分昔に約束した通りいろいろなことをして遊ぼう昭和58年のスイカを食べて窓際で涼もう今年の秋はどんな秋今年の冬はどのくらいの雪が私たちの知らない天気や出来事を楽しもう。知らないテレビ番組や
、永遠に放送予定のまま見ることのできなかったアニメを見よう。そして、私がどんな人生を歩むのか、共に成長の物語を楽しもう。You know, I do wonder. Yeah, I think there are a few after stories of what happens after the June of 1983, after Matsuri Bayashi. I was trying to think, I'm like, is there any, you know, official things of them actually having fun past the month of June? And I think there is. I think there actually is a few half official, half not official things of their lives after June of 1983. But there's not many. I wish there was like a winter story. Like, that's the one thing I really do hope for in the future a winter story. そこにはもちろん羽生もいるのそしてきっと青くて広いに違いない夏の大空を見上げようきっとね昭和58年の大空はこれまでの空とは比べ物にならないくらいに美しいに違いないから I'm sure I'm going to make a miracle happen in this world. God didn't design humans so they could redo their lives over and over again like me. People usually only have one chance, yet, they can still make miracles happen with effort. They work so hard because they know that they'll never have a chance to do it over again. That's why miracles occur. But if I can't make one happen with all that, I just had to give up. Tsugi no sekai na te iranai. Kono sekai de kiseki o okos. Minna ga oshiete kreta. Kiseki wa minna de nara okoseru to oshiete kreta. Dakara okiru. Okos. Kono sekai de. 私たちは最高の未来を迎えてみせる。リカ。Hanyu disappeared, sobbing sadly. She was no longer in my sight, but I could still talk to her. ハニュー、きっと私たちはこの世界で。最高の未来をつかめるからだから信じてあなたも力を合わせてくれたなら奇跡はもっと起きやすいかもしれないんだから This is the best possible stage I can hope for The actors on the stage and the audience before they can help each other What? The actors on the stage and the audience before it. Oh. Oh, I get it now. <laughs> Sometimes I can't read English. The actors on the stage and the audience before it can help each other. If you wish, you, the audience, can change the story. Are we about to get to an option screen? <laughs> I've made my decision. I'm going up on the stage. I'm not going to complain anymore. I'll do my best, just like Keiichi and my other friends. I'm not going to make any more excuses. I'm not going to wait for another fortunate world. I have to do my best in this one. I'm not, ask I'm not talking about my decision to die after this world is over. I'm just saying that people are meant to have only one chance to live. That's why they work so hard. Because I had so many chances to redo my life. 
I haven't been working hard enough. I was never able to make a miracle happen. In my previous life, Rena took over the school. Because I got in her way, Keiichi made it in time to stop the explosion. The story changed because I decided to get up on the stage. Perhaps my other lives before that. I could have changed my situation if I worked hard enough without giving up. But I kept giving up so easily and eventually lost my interest in those worlds. And so, a miracle never happened. A miracle never happened because I was always relying on the fact that I had another chance. Hanyu, I hope you can understand. Please, don't be sad and work hard with me in this world. I couldn't tell if she understood me. I assertively spoke to the officials about how much danger Satoko was in. Keiichi and Irie also made their appeals from the bottom of their hearts. I had no idea how the Child Consultation Center took what we said so passionately. All I could do was pray. And... They fucking said wait and see. どうだったケイちゃん。うん。We're シュウイチの訪問で様子を見て、だいたい1ヶ月後に改めて判断をするというような話なのですが。あのうちのところに佐藤子1ヶ月も閉じ込められて言うんですか。その1ヶ月間で佐藤子の心がどれだけ傷つ
相変わらず向こうはその一点張りなの佐都子は助けを求められない負い目があるってのに。The purpose of a child consultation center is to protect children. I was starting to get angry the more I thought about it. But as I thought about it some more, I realized that they were just trying to do their job. It was just that our opinions differed about the degree of urgency. Yes, they're trying to do their jobs, but they're also、uh, just kind of half ignoring her actual fucking doctor. Maybe we'll get to their viewpoint soon about what they were thinking about Irie, but I, one would think that they would, you know, heavily take into consideration what the doctor told them because her actual doctor came in and he probably explained a lot about Satoko's condition. Like, he doesn't even have to reference the, you know, mysterious illness she has. Like, she does, he doesn't need to go into those details because that would be a breach in confidentiality. But, He can at least give the basics of what's going on to the motherfuckers in the office. Though, of course, there's some stuff in Matsuri Biashi that I can't talk about, which could limit what Irie can said, say, but、uh, for what Irie is allowed to say, I think that's enough to get the consultation center to think, oh shit, maybe we should, you know, look more deeply into this case instead of saying, oh, we're gonna wait a month, just check in every so often a month, like once a week. <laughs> I'm, I'm going too hard on the consultation center because this is. This is kind of,、uh, Because we know what's going on. That's the thing. We know what's going on, and the consultation center doesn't know what's going on. But at the same time, there is blatant. There is blatant. Just ignorance on the consultation's part. Like, they didn't even know that it was her uncle that was taking care of her. And they didn't even know he was not there for a fucking year. He just did a fucking background check. Let's get to the game. こっちはさとこちゃんを早く助けてほしいという。向こうはさとこちゃんが助けを求めたらねという。なんとか歩み寄る方法はないのかな。さとこちゃんへの助けがないまでにも、その SOS のサインを読み取る何らかの歩み寄りはないのかな。その辺はこちらもいろいろと訴えました。向こうもそれを真剣に聞いてはくださりましたが、最終的な雰囲気だと参考にとどめられた感じでしたね。Damn it! When the head of the office showed up, I thought I could change things today, but everything went the same as yesterday, and we still weren't able to persuade them. However, I'm sure we're making progress. It might seem like there was s t e a d It might seem like there was standing our blows at first glance, but they're feeling the weight behind them. We're not going to give up just because it didn't work out today. We're going to fight until they get off their butts and save Satoko! Saki, Minna, you are, I still want to get out of the way. But, 今日よりは人数が減るかもしれないね。なんだか悔しいですね。せっかくここまで来たのに、ここが私たちの限界ってわけなんですか。Damn it! We can't give up just yet. We might have less people tomorrow, but we're not going to call off our fourth appeal. たとえ誰も来なくなっても、レナは行くよ。サトコちゃんを助ける判断を下してくれるまで、レナは一人でもくじけない。それは俺もだ。俺も絶対にくじけない。ありがとな、ミオ。来られる人だけでも構わないぜ。窓から見てたけど、みんなの横断幕、結構プレッシャーになってるようだったぜ。ふふふ。ゆべ。夜なべして作った甲斐がありました。うぅ、ボーイ、ユリエ。イリエ、たすきなんかも、ありがとうなのです。But what I said is probably a spoiler, so I probably shouldn't say it. いえいえ。
これくらいの協力しかできないのが悔しいです僕ももっと協力しようと思いますです僕はサトコを救えないと思って諦めてきましたが今日圭一と入江が所長とやり合うのを見ていて僕にはまだまだ頑張れることがあると思いましたです。Yeah. リガシャン was always watching us from afar. It made me a little happy to see リガシャン getting more active in the whole movement. I wonder what リガシャン can do. サトコに会えたら助けを求めるように説得するつもりなのです。それは多分僕にしかできないことなのです。The same thing was on all our minds. The, thi- the same thing was on all our minds. The issue will be resolved the moment Satko seeks help. But nobody can say that to her because we all know that she's dealing with the memories of her brother. Satko, I know how you feel about Satoshi, but this is different. Please ask the Child Consultation Center to help you. As long as you're seeking help, they're ready to save you anytime. Don't be afraid that your uncle is going to destroy Satoshi's room. Please ask for them to save you. But without even knowing Satoshi's face, I could never say that to her. The only person who can ask her to seek help is Rika chan. She's been living with her for the past year, and she's like family. そうだね私も今日それを言ったけれど心には届かなかった悲しいけれどさとこちゃんの心に言葉を届かせられるのはリカちゃんを置いて他にはいないと思う自分にその力がないのが悲しいですけど同感です<笑>リカちゃまは無二の親友 Wait, you call Rika Rika Chama? a n t にできなかったら、もうどうにもならないです。サトコちゃんの心を解きほぐせたら、それで全てが解決するとすら断言できるでしょう。案外、私たちがこうして押しかけるよりもいい方法かもしれません。そんなことはありませんレナが言った通りです双方が手を伸ばさないと届かないだからサトコも手を伸ばすべきだと思っただけですそしてそれは僕も同じなのですみんなが力を合わせないと奇跡は起こせない僕だけが諦めていて力を合わせなかった。だから、奇跡が起こせなかった。だから、僕も力を合わせる。だから、サトコも手をつかむ。あう。<笑>言いたいことが、うまく説明できないです。ごめんなさいです。Riga Chan is usually a quiet girl, but she talks a lot every once in a while. Just because she's quiet doesn't mean that she's not thinking about anything. In fact, because she's quiet, she must have a lot inside her, inside her heart that she's never expressed. We are going to continue our appeal to the consultation center. Riga Chan is going to persuade Satoko. This is the best approach, or at least the best one that I can think of. It might be slow and quiet, but now that I'm in the game, I can't quit until I win. If I, get, if I gave up, I'd lose everything that I bet on. We're going to save Satoko. We just have to work together. But, obviously, we don't have much time left to fight. 
what to do. We're definitely going to have less people tomorrow. In other words, we can't intimidate the Child Consultation Center any more than we did today. I couldn't see any way to break our deadlock with the Consultation Center, so I had no choice but to swallow down the irritation starting to boil up in my chest and pretend not to notice it. もうだいぶ暗くなってきました。ミオンさん、解散の号令をかけられた方がいいでしょう。私も今夜はまた実行委員会なので、このまま直接集会所に行った方が良さそうです。え、それを言ったら私もじゃん。いけないいけない。That <笑> then I had to go too. While it wouldn't be a big deal if I missed the meeting, I should still go. I don't understand most of the things they're even talking about there, but I don't want to be rude. I'd had no choice but to go. <laughs> <laughs> Mion thanked all the people who came today and told them to meet at the same place at the same time tomorrow. And with that, the third day of our desperate appeal was over. もしもし。俺俺、ケイチ。うん。帰ってから食べるよ。だからうちに帰らずこのまま集会所に行っちゃうよ。父さんはもう行ってるんだね。わかったわかった。了解。I called my mom and told her that I'd be going to the meeting without coming home. I'd get there kind of early, but if I went home first, I wouldn't make it in time. Mion, Rika-chan, and Irie were going to head there with me. Xion said that she was also coming. And now Runa didn't want to go home alone either. Mm-hmm. Oh, we're getting close to one of the best scenes in this arc. お邪魔にならないかなかな。なりはしないよ。むしろ若い子の関心があることが分かった方がみんな喜ぶでしょう。平均年齢がぐんと若返りますです。私も久しぶりに君吉のおじいちゃんに挨拶したいですし。そう。You know, Kimiyoshi, low key, is probably one of the best characters to see on. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest here. Of all the older people of Himizawa, I feel like Kimiyoshi is the nicest to Shion for some reason. Like, he was gonna, you know, try to forgive Shion after he, after he learned about, you know, her going to the virtual storehouse. He was actually going to forgive her. So Kimiyoshi, most of the time, is pretty good. Though, he needs to warm up his heart to Sanako. He definitely needs to warm, up, warm his heart up to Sanako, but I'll get to that soon. I'll get to that soon. We all headed towards the Faraday Shrine in the dim light. The light was on, on in the assembly building. Some people had already arrived. Konbanwa! <laughs> あ、ぜ、来たね。入江の先生もこんばんは。どうもこんばんは。皆さんもおはようですね。他に何もすることがねえんだけよ。More <laughs> people started started coming into the meeting hall. Everyone seemed to come so early. I should probably come earlier from now on, too. 
あれあれ今日はハイカラな靴が多いなぁと思ったら<笑>若い人が大勢来てるじゃないのシオンちゃんもお久しぶり今日はどうしたの Everyone bowed to the newest arrival. It was the mayor, Kimyoshi san. He strode into the room with other committee members. Domo, o i s a s h i b r i d e s o n e t a s to a s o n d e t e s o n o m a m a n o n a g a r e de a s o b i n i k i c h a i m a s t a Soka, soka. Yako kita ne. Shion chan mo wata nawashi no matsuri. Katashi a zehi irashai ya. Usually she doesn't go to Watanagashi. Usually she doesn't go to Watanagashi. Well, she does go in Watanagashi and、uh, Meikashi. She goes to the Watanagashi Festival, but usually she doesn't go to the Watanagashi Festival from what I remembered. From what I remembered, I might be getting that wrong, but she didn't go in Onikakushi. She wasn't even there in Onikakushi, by the way.、Uh, she didn't go in Tatami.、Uh, she didn't go in Sumi. So she's going in Nina, huh? Ha 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 そうだそうだ、ミオンちゃんに相談したいことがあったんだ。ちょっと、こっち来てくれないかな。はいはい、どうしましたひょっとして模擬店部会の横田さん、まだ怒ってるんですかいやーね。ミオンヘラダウトサイドはキミヨシさん、and the other committee members。There's only one room in the building, so they have to go outside if they want to talk in private. You know I am. Well, I don't know if he is. Well, I don't know if he is. 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 苦し紛れな方が面白いことを言いますです<笑> Everyone laughed. We continued the chat about the festival. We talk about what kind of festival young people like us would want to see. That sort of stuff. Suddenly, Mion tapped me on the shoulder. ケイちゃん、ちょっと話が。She gestured for me to follow her out front without letting the others know. What did she want? Once outside, I see Mion, Chie Sensei, and the principal. Ah, Chie Sensei, Kocho Sensei, Do, k o n b a w a Did I skip a line by accident? I can't tell. Chie Sensei responded to my greeting. But the principal must not have heard me, since he didn't. His eyes were closed. He seemed lost in thought. That sight caused our happy, chatty feelings to cool off quickly. My intuition told me that this had to be about something bad. Maebara kun ni, chotto dake o hanashi ga arimasu. A mari yokunai hanashi mi tai desne. Mmm. 明日もみんなでまた交渉に行くんですね。ええ。どこまでも戦うのが仲間の務めですから。今日ほど集まるかはわかりませんが、明日もまた集まろうとみんなに言ってあります。な、だよな、ミオ。前原くん。集まる人たちに約束した手前もあるでしょうから、明日はとりあえず仕方がありませんが。それを最後にしばらく様子を見ませんか Thanks to the advice from Uishi-san last night, 
I already had an idea of the situation. これ以上話が大きくなると村の親方も見て見ぬふりができなくなるだからここいらへんで自重しろってことですか前原君私はあなた方のしていることは正しいと思うだからあなたは正しいと思ったことを堂々としてくれればいいと思っていますでも the village elders are cocks. She stopped talking after that. Che Sensei was supporting us until just yesterday. She even came to the child consultation center with us on the second day. So for her to start saying completely the opposite, I felt slightly dizzy from the shock of it. Kei-chan, Chie Sensei no meiyo no tameni hosoku suru yo. チエ先生は個人的には私たちを支持してくれてるでもその何かの圧力がかかったってわけかチエ先生は圧力なんかに屈する人じゃないケイちゃんはチエ先生がどれだけ正義心にあふれる人か知らないだろうねかつてこの文庫が文庫と認められず単なる廃校の校舎でしかなかった時チエ先生はやってきてくれたI think Mion told me about that story before. The school was closed when the damn conflict happened. However, the village children still came to school to the school to learn. There were no teachers there, though, because the school wasn't officially operating. That was when Chie Sensei arrived. After they won the damn conflict, the Sonazaki family and other villagers made an appeal, and the school's existence was finally approved. Our school did not have an easy start. The government was against it, but the villagers forced them to approve. Chie Sensei came along with us on our appeal yesterday. That was very courageous of her, but now people who want to close the school are paying attention to what we're doing. Also, other than the villagers, the Board of Education can be fucked sometimes. Depending on who's in it. Depending on who's in it. And from what I'm reading right here, they're being cocks. Because she's trying to help one of the children. <laughs> I know there's a lot more, you know deep politics in that, but at the end of the day, they're gonna put her job in jeopardy for her try for her just trying to save a student. <laughs> Chie Sensei stared at the ground as Mion spoke. I never seen her look so sad. <laughs> I'm gonna say this now. Just because some people are trying to save a girl from being abused, but due to the politics of it all, it could put a whole school in fucking jeopardy. <laughs> I know there's a lot of deep, like, this is like a rare case, but similar cases to this can definitely happen. Uh, the whole thing of trying to save someone, but that could also put everyone else in jeopardy due to the politics to get someone saved. What the fuck? That's the fucking tornado siren. Um. <laughs> uh, the... What the fuck? <laughs> oh, wait. It, oh, it's the first Friday of the month. They always do that. <laughs> that was just poor timing on my part. I forgot that every, um, Friday, like the first Friday of each month, for some reason they do a tornado siren drill. I don't know who told her this. 
Whoever it was, they warned her not to escalate things around Satoko's case. They threatened the existence of our school to make her obey, and pressured her with a responsibility that she couldn't take on her own. I said, I heard that you were talking about this story from Oishi. Wait, in this sense? Is that... Wait a second, that's not... Hold on. Threatening a school? For trying to make appeals to the Child Consultation Center? Threatening an entire school's existence because you're trying to make appeals. That's kind of fucked up. Just because they didn't look carefully into Satoko's case, now her school can be shut down. I'm sorry, but maybe I'm being too cruel by saying the consultation center is not looking closely into Satoko's case, but they have not. Her uncle didn't wasn't there for her for a year, and he claimed that he was at work. But if you check his record, he didn't have a job. So you, so he lied. Since you didn't do a fucking background check, it all leads to, it all leads to a fucking background check. This all leads to the consultation center not doing a background check. That's the simple way to put it. All of this, like this, escalated to a school almost being shutting down because they didn't do a fucking background check, and they're not listening to a group of kids who know the kid who's being abused more than them, and the doctor who could. Confirm everything they said, and they're a teacher who can also confirm everything. If you do a background check, you can easily tell who's saying the truth and who's not. And they actively lied to you, and they're questioning about what they were doing before, and you can say that they're lying. That's when you jump in. That's where you fucking jump in and have the child be separate from the from the abuser, and then look into things on a separate basis. Like separate the two. Once you learn that he lied, like they can still investigate, but they need to separate those two. If he lied about something that he did, plus also that's neglect. If you did a background check, you would have learned that he neglected to be with Satko for a year, even though him being with Satko is a terrible thing. He should never be around Satko, but he already did child abuse by technical neglect. So that's exactly this place. これ以上騒ぎを大きくすると、法条件を未だによく思ってない年寄りどもと対立することになるみたいなのな。Something like that。大石にそんな話を聞かされたんだ。うん。そう間違った話じゃないよ。Beyond looked at the ground, along with Chiei Sensei. I always thought Chie Sensei and Mion were stronger people, so seeing them both hanging their heads like this is hopeless made me feel like we we're being pushed into a dead end, and I hated it. 大体お前さっきのさっきまで俺たちと一緒に行ったじゃないかよ。そして明日も来られる人が来てくれてみんなに言ったじゃないか。そのミオンと一緒に集会所にやってきて。When I said, "When did she get swapped?" I immediately thought of one thing: the mayor took her outside the building earlier. Did he? So. 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 It felt painful to see her fake a smile like that. She was only out here with him for about ten minutes. What the hell did he tell her that crushed her spirit? Mion and Chie 先生も、俺の知ってる二人は最高に強い誇れて憧れる友人であり先生だ。その二人がほんの一晩二晩で意見を覆すことになるようなどんな圧力があったかは。I didn't feel like getting mad at them. They were just passionate about. They were just as passionate. They were just as passionate about saving Satoko as I was. Toward them, I felt nothing but pity. Maibara-kun, I can't say anything. No, I'm not going to blame Chie-sensei. 
I could feel an angry tone entering my voice. I had enough. どうしてくれ。どうして村の年寄りたちは未だ北条家を嫌うんだ。もう北条家を嫌ってる人間は実はいないのかもしれないって思うよ。何？お前は何を言ってるんだ？ダム戦争で北条家は村の旧敵だった。村全体でそういう風に盛り上げたからね。その戦犯である夫婦が死に残された里子に
、そういうことです。個別に聞けばわかります。誰も里子のことを嫌ってなんかいないんです。両親が死んで、それがけじめになったと思っています。だからばあさんも、その後は北条家に一切関わるなと号令を出しました。でも、北条家を許すとは号令を出せなかった。それはきっと、僕のお父さんのせいもあるのです。リカちゃんのどうして僕のお父さんはずっとのんびりと構えていたので村の人たちからリーダー失格だとずっと言われてきたのですリカちゃんのお父さんはハト派だったからね冷静に状況が読める人だったと思うでも、祭りのようにハンダムで燃え上がった人々は、もっと過激な高派のリーダーを求めていたんだよ。だからバッチャは、ひなみざわを一つにまとめるため、あえてみんなが求めた高派リーダーを演じたんだよ。つまり、高派リーダーを演じてる手前、自分から北条家を許すとは言い出せないってわけか。The most influential person in the village, if she just said forgive them, I bet everyone would because they're too scared of her. The most influential and aggressive leader, if they forgave someone, most of the time, most people would just side with them. It's usually, you know, that person that you should be scared of, but if that person agrees that you should forgive, most people would agree with that person when you think about the psychology of this whole thing. So, if o r y u said forgive the Hojo family, everyone would! Because they're so fucking scared, they're like, we don't want to mess with o r y u We really don't want to mess with o r y u Mmm. Otosiori wa, shugi o mage nai koto o mohan to mo kara ne. Saisho ni kakageta ho shin wa, nakanaka kai rare nai nda yo. Yeah. But old people can also open up. そんなのってひどい。だってそれじゃ、誰もが人のせいにしながら、さとこちゃんを許してあげてないってことだよ。自分が許すと、村の人に陰口を叩かれるかもしれないから許してあげられないなんて、あんまりだよ。当時はね、貧しい家なんかには、保証金が欲しくて立ち退きを受け入れてもいいと思ってる人が少なからずいたんだよ。でもそれを口に出すとはばかられる状況だった。そんな中、それを堂々と公言したのが北条家だったんだよ。それに勇気づけられて、立ち退き派が派閥を作りそうな勢いになった。みんなも、今日までのお役所とのやりとりをしててわかったと思うけど、住民運動というのは、一枚岩じゃないといけないんだよ。村の総意であるか否かがとても大切なこと。だから、実はダム戦争の直前、ひなみざわは戦争どころか内部分裂状態だったんだよ。僕のお父さんが日和見主義だったからそうなったんだと、みんなは言いました。お父さんは、ダムなんてできるわけがない。きっと、話し合いで平和的に解決できるという、のんびりした立場だったのです。そして、それが立ち退き派を許す温床になったと非難されたのです。立ち退き派って、不思議な響きだね。初めて聞くよ。村の人はよくダムの推進派って言わない She's right. They usually claim that their enemies supported the project itself. 立ち退き派っていうよりダム推進派って方が悪っぽそうな感じでしょ立ち退きじゃあ
、単に喧嘩を嫌って逃れるだけの平和的なイメージがある。でも、ダム推進派なら、なるほどな。ダム推進派って言うと、なんだか利的行為というか、村をダム湖に沈めようとする裏切り者みたいなイメージになるな。イメージ戦略というものです。Coach had appeared. He came outside after noticing how long we've been gone. 当時の雛見沢には、戦争直前の全体主義のような空気が蔓延していたんです。ハト派のフルデシでは逆に分裂を招いた。なら、全体を一丸とするにはタカ派になるしかないと、当時のそのザキ家は考えたんです。ちょっと話が見えてきました。つまりこういうことですね。村を半ダムで一つにまとめるために、北条家に裏切り者のレッテルを貼って、徹底攻撃して、見せしめにした。それがあまりに集中的だったので、立ち退き派の人たちは恐ろしくなり、終始返せざるを得なかった。北条家と信仰があれば、ダム推進派なのだろうと疑われました。だから、誰もが怖がって北条家に近づかなかった。すれ違っても見て見ぬふりをし、話しかけられても無視をしたのです。もちろんそれは、北条夫妻の二人を指名したはずなのですが、いつの間にか、北条家というわかりやすい看板が一人歩きを始めました。Most definitely, I do not agree with them going after the kids. Even though going after the parents is kind of yikes, it's understandable. Well, when you go after the fucking children, that's when I have to just say, What the fuck are you doing? その結果、おじおば夫婦の家もとばっちりを受けたそうです。In most cases, I also state don't go after the aunts and uncles as well, but, um, in most cases, I state because. <laughs> It's gonna sound really terrible, but Tepe deserves the worst. So does his、um, dead wife. They kind of、um, deserve the worst. This is terrible. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Most of the time, though, you shouldn't go after the other family members of someone you're mad at. <laughs> but I put it most of the time for a special case of just me stating, fuck Tepe! 皮肉ですね。その時の霊遇の恨みが募り、さとこちゃんにひどい仕打ちをする恩賞となっているのですから。Her uncle and aunt were not in support of the damn project, but because of Satoko's parents, they were, they were also attacked. After Satoko's parents died, they were forced to take care of, the, of their two children. It finally makes sense. They're fuckheads. I can see the whole picture now. Dam 戦争は終わった上に、さとこちゃんの両親は亡くなった。ならそういう変な遺恨は、全部水に流そうって、言い出したその崎家が、ちゃんと終了宣言を出すべきじゃないのかな。そこで最初の話に戻るんです。北条家に温情的な宣言を出したら、その崎家当主は、ダム戦争当時の幹部級、つまり、町会のオイラ方への求心力を失うのではないかと恐れたんです。舐められたらおしまいってのは、どうやらお役所だけじゃなく、その崎家もそうみたいだな。これは、私が直接バッチャに聞いたから間違いない。バッチャは、北条家は放っておけとの号令を出すまでが精一杯。そして、自分が死んで当主が変わったら、その就任の時にダム戦争の完全終了宣言を出して、北条家に対する遺恨を完全に流そうと、そういう話になってるんだよ
。これはお母さんも知ってる。その話は、私もお母さんに聞いてます。大ばば様の世間体とかいうやつですね。話をちょいと戻すぜ。ミオンと知恵先生に、さっき脅しをかけたのは、村長たち、紹介のお偉方連中だったと思う。その連中はどうなんだ内心。まだ北条家を恨んでるのかそれが笑っちゃうんです。実は、君吉のおじいちゃんだって、誰だって、もう北条家を恨んでなんかないってんです。This is just like Simi on a motion!Everyone is such a sense of reward! つまり、悲しい話なんですが、彼らにとって、まだダム戦争は尾を引いているんです。北条家と信仰があったら、後ろ指を刺されるかもしれないと、未だに恐れているんです。でもでも、リカちゃんとか監督は、普通にサトコちゃんと接してるじゃないですか。私は若く、そもそも町会にそれほどのしがらみを持ちませんからそしてリカちゃんは特別ですなぜなら彼女はお社様の生まれ変わりだからお社様は人と鬼の相入れぬ存在を融和させて住まわせた伝説を持つだからつまり村にいられない身である北条家の人間を引き取っても、納得されたというわけか。After hearing all this, I'm beginning to understand how difficult it was for Satoko to live in this village. She always acted bright and cheerful in the school and in the club. I thought that was her whole world, but I had no idea. How she felt when she was walking around alone in the village. She probably went grocery shopping, even though. Yeah, my fuck. She probably went grocery shopping, even knowing that people were going to ignore her. She felt the coldness from them, but she was standing strong on her feet. I had no idea she was going through something like that. I knew she went through tough times during the damn conflict, but I had no clue that she was struggling to this day. What a sad story. And what a sad story. Lena is so sad. I'm 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 so sad. 何か良くないことがあると思ってる。悪いのは誰なの誰でもないのそう思わせる風土や世間体が悪いの We live in a society! 誰も悪くない。なのに、他の誰かを気にして、自分も許せないか。うん。そういう空気は、良い方向に流れてる時はいいんだよ。思いやりがあって連帯感のある、いいご近所付き合いを生み出す。でも、北条家の件は正反対。そういう思い込みが、カビのように蔓延しちゃって、どうにもならない。腐った畳はどうすると思う捨てて新しくするしかないんだよ。じゃあ、村長たちは、自分たちがサトコを気に入らないから圧力をかけてるんじゃなくて、俺たちのやってることを黙認すると、村の誰かという意もしない存在に、後ろ指を刺されるかもしれないと怯えているから黙認できないと、そういうわけなんだな。And that's what I'm just stating is just stupid. Don't fucking care about what someone else would say. If you try helping a child who had nothing to do with what you guys were mad at five years ago, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 
Maybe this is just personal, a little bit more personal because I love Satoko. Xian's theory sounded interesting. Everyone follows the rules because they're afraid of that someone. However, even the leaders of the village are afraid of the same thing. Everyone in the village is following the rules because they're afraid of someone who doesn't even exist. They still follow the rules of, of they still follow the rules of damn conflict, thinking that they will be cursed. They forgive Satko. Who the hell is that someone? They can only call it the curse of Orishio Sama. Orishio Sama cursed the Hojo family because they supported the damn project. They still believe that, and Satko is struggling because of it. Rika-chan made a sad face. She's the shrine maiden for Orishio Sama and the reincarnation of Orishio Sama. I don't think there's a curse in this village at all. Everyone is just convinced that there is. ってことになりそうだな。うん。私もそう思った。私もついさっきまでは相談所に何度も陳情をすればきっと聞き入れてもらえると思ってたけど。そんなのは何の解決にもならないって今分かった。その畳の根元って踏み出せない最後の一歩ってやつがある。この村と死がらみのあるミオンとチエ先生が圧力に屈するほかなかったのがその証拠だ。だがな、何のしがらみもね、俺はな。そんなのに屈する必要がない。前原さん。I want to die now. I really want to die. I can't believe I did that. I am I pressed down the button, but I didn't think it would register. Damn it. Alright. I'm gonna read the line for Keiichi since I fucked it up. Mion, you're deeply involved in the village. I know you feel hesitant to save Satko as one of the leaders here. I understand why you and Chie Sensei almost gave up under the pressure. But I have nothing to lose! My Barsa. Masaka, Kunobade.俺はやるぜ。腐った畳なんか。この俺がぶち抜いてやろう<笑> <laughs> okay, 
Sage, your words are definitely mu a lot more true than you would think. <laughs> you used to be in the receiving end of that bat. お互い敵には回したくねえな。じゃあ行くか。ミオンの立場は十分分かってるぜ。だからミオンは立場上俺と敵対してくれて全然オーケーだ。ただし、やばいと感じたら逃げとけよ。今日は部活以上にやばいぜ。本気のもう一つ上の本気で行くからな。As Meg's head of her family, she shouldn't agree with me, but she stared in silent approval of what I was about to do. わかった。ケイちゃんがステミの覚悟で行くというなら私もやるよ。イエス。そうでなくちゃな。見てろ。ガツンと言ってやるからな。This is when they start ripping apart the villages society bit by bit. Their stupid society that was so mean to Sasuke. This is when they all just say fuck that and they go to improve it. シーちゃんはどうする私は幸い、失うものなんかありませんので、協力します。知恵先生と校長先生の立場は分かってます。ですが、今日は学校じゃない。だからどうか、俺たちのやることを見過ごしてください。そうですね。私は今は教師ではありません。私も校長先生もあなたたちに意思を託します。私は協力させていただきます。村を出てけと言われたら診療所を畳むくらいの覚悟はありますよ。それに未来のメイドさんを守るために。<laughs> what is that line cooler than your previous one? <gasps> I can feel everyone's power flowing into me. I'm not even going to try and cool down. I need to be fired up for something like this. As I turned back, I noticed a wishy sound of my dad. I didn't know how long they'd been standing there. My Barasan. Nanda ka moya na chatter mi tai desu ne. Oishi san, kino oshiete kureta janai desu ka. Otoko ni wa orirare nai tatakai ga aru te. Kiken pai o tsuyo uchi shite demo tsuranu ka nakuta nara nai koto te no ga aru. Keiichi. Dou san. Down of the year, Keiichi's dad, Mr. Maibara. Eh? He gave me a big smile. I've never seen my dad smile like that before. You are now in the same way. There is a time for me to go to my dad. その時は男の人生のどこかにあるものなんだ。ケイチにとってのその時が今だというなら、父さんは何も言わん。ケイチ君のお父さんかっこいいね。当たり前だろ。俺の親父だぜ。俺の半分程度はかっこいい。<笑
ってのが、おやっさんの口癖でしたよ。Despite not taking a side, Oishi is on Keiji's side. He says that he's not taking a side, but he's fucking on Keiji's side. 危険牌を切ると覚悟を決めたら、変に妥協しちゃいけない。降りるならベタ降り、勝負ならど真ん中とはっきりした方がいい。マージャンは得点が倍々計算だからな変に弱気に23度上がっても一度の大きな上がりにすぐひっくり返されちゃう勝負手の時はとことん強気がいいんだおや前原さんのお父さんもマージャンをやられますか<笑>ああ、本当の土俵はこっちだったんだ。俺たちは3日間、全然的違いな相手と戦っていたんだ。行こうぜ。ソンポールマシュート。イオズリカちゃん。ケイチ。リカちゃんは、サトコの一番の友人であると同
You're also being abusers. I'm sorry. しかし、私は好きになれませんね。裏に誰がいようがいなかろうが、常に公平な対応をするのが公務員です。And not do background checks. 同活がまかり通るようなことがあったという洗礼を残したから。ひなみざわは特別扱いだという妙なルールができてしまったのではないですかまあ、確かに所長のおっしゃる通りだとは思いますが、一応ですね、その、わざわざ自治の係長が、連合町会が背景にいないことを確認してくれたんですから、うちの職員も厳粛に事務を進めてください。ひなみざわだからどうすべきかとお伺いを立てること自体が、すでに公務員の心構えとして問題です。It's obvious! もその辺をよく職員に教えてくれなければ困ります。It's obvious that this chief really mostly cares about his political position than actually, you know, helping people. I'm fucking sorry. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be the one to say it, but from the way he's acting right now, he's being a cuck. I'm using the word cuck a lot. I don't even understand what it means. I'm just using it now. はい。申し訳ございません。とにかく、裏に村がいないと分かれば安心です。裏に村がいると分かっても、対応を焦るべきではありません。何があろうとも。北条里子さんの件は、慎重に対応してください。くれぐれも、異例の措置は取らないよう。担当に念を押しておいてくださいよ。Don't give her a special treatment, aka, don't actually help her! I'm sorry, but seriously, there's no way you could take this side with the child consultation center when you have scenes like that. There's no way you can side with them because they're being absolute shitheads. <laughs> so thank everybody for watching this video of me playing n o m i n a k o no Nakagorni m i r a k a r a s h i And if you like this video somehow, <laughs> Leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll see you all next time. Leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll see you all in the next video of me playing Umineko. Hikamashi no Nakakora ni Midagorashi. Did I call this game Umineko earlier? Oh my god. Okay, okay.